Understanding Stomach Discomfort, an English Learning Guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English Learning Channel. Today, we're going to explore a common phrase that many of us use without thinking much about it. Stomach Discomfort. Whether you're feeling a little under the weather or just curious about how to express bodily sensations in English, this video is for you. Let's dive into what this phrase really means and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. Stomach discomfort is a broad term that refers to any kind of mild pain or uneasiness in your stomach area. This could be anything from a slight ache to a feeling of being bloated or gassy. It's important to note that stomach discomfort is generally used for minor issues. It's not typically used to describe severe pain or medical emergencies. Think of it as a polite and somewhat vague way to express that you're not feeling 100% in the belly region without going into too much detail. There are several ways to describe stomach discomfort in English, each with its own nuance. Here are a few. I have a stomach ache. This is the most straightforward way to say that your stomach hurts. I feel bloated. Use this when your stomach feels full or swollen, often after eating too much or consuming certain foods. I'm feeling queasy. This implies a sensation of nausea or the feeling that you might vomit. My stomach feels upset. A general term that can encompass nausea, pain, or indigestion. Understanding these variations can help you communicate more precisely how you're feeling or understand others better when they describe their symptoms to you. Stomach discomfort is a useful phrase in various contexts. When you want to be polite, it's a discreet way to say you're experiencing stomach issues without being too graphic. When you're not sure what's wrong, if you don't know the exact cause of your discomfort, this phrase is appropriately vague. When you're discussing symptoms with a healthcare provider, it's a starting point to describe your symptoms before providing more specific details as needed. We hope this video has shed some light on the phrase, stomach discomfort, and how you can use it effectively in English conversations. Remember, part of learning a language is being able to express yourself accurately and understanding the nuances of phrases like this can really help. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more helpful videos. Stay healthy and see you in the next lesson.